This evening, we have a special guest with us, one who represents one of the most historic governing boards in our state's history, and that's the Kansas Board of Regents. This board dates back to 1913, when then-Governor George Hodges first appointed members to what was then a three-person board. Today, the Board of Regents consists of nine members and is responsible for governing the state's six public universities. And in addition, the board also coordinates 19 community colleges, five technical colleges, and one municipal university. It's a difficult job. Its scope is broad. The problems and challenges are complex. But fortunately, we have some of the finest Kansans involved in this leadership. We're privileged this evening to have President, the President and CEO of the Kansas Board of Regents, Dr. Blake Flanders, with us to provide comments and bring greetings from the board. A native Kansan, Dr. Flanders was appointed board president and CEO in 2015. Prior to that, he served as the vice president for workforce development for the board and provided executive leadership of the Kansas Post-Secondary Technical Education Authority. Dr. Flanders is a graduate of Colby Community College and has two degrees from Kansas State University, a bachelor's and master's degree in animal science, and a third degree, a doctorate of philosophy in curriculum and instruction, also from Kansas State University. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm gorilla welcome to the president and CEO of the Kansas Board of Regents, Dr. Blake Flanders. Dr. Flanders. President Scott, members of the faculty and staff, and all members of Guerrilla Nation that are here to celebrate this special day, I'm both delighted and honored to bring you greetings and best wishes from the Kansas Board of Regents. Thank you for allowing me to be with you. I do know that Dr. Scott wanted to get the best looking guy from Topeka to give this address, but he was turned down. And then he turned, he said, well, I'll get the smartest guy from Topeka to give this address, but he was turned down. And just a few days ago, my assistant came in the office and said, it's President Scott on the phone, and he's asking you to give the commencement address at Pittsburgh State University. I said, well, tell him yes, since I've turned him down twice before. <laughs> So graduates, what an amazing accomplishment. This day and all the festivities that come with it symbolize the culmination of years of study, hard work, and commitment. Over 30 years ago, Regent James Pickert stood on this stage and proclaimed that as a graduate of Pittsburgh State University, you've built a solid foundation during your time here at PSU, which includes a life of the mind. What a wonderful phrase to sum up the real goal of higher education, to teach you how to exercise your creative thinking, to explore your imagination, to encourage your innovative ideas, and inspire you to stretch what you think your mind can do and accomplish. The curiosity for all of us who have accompanied you on this journey in one way or another is how will you use your life of the mind, your creativity, your innovative ideas. The regent who spoke those words went on to imagine what the world might look like in the not too distant future, and that was the year 2000. Now, if my math is right, many of you graduating here today were just beginning your education when our civilization experienced this milestone. For certain, it doesn't quite have the same ring as for me to evoke 2032 as it did for him to evoke the new century, though I do admit that sounds a long way off. What he went on to say, and I want to share with you here today, is that before too long, that future will be here. Either you create what it will look like for you, or someone else, or perhaps something else, will take care of that creation. The question is whether it will include your thinking, your planning, or whether it will be the culmination of accidental happenings that occurred to you on the journey. Either you decide, you make the choice, you create the future, or it will be done for you. 
Developing a plan will be the best use of the resources you have, and it is a limited resource, the only life you have available to you. Thinking and planning, and then most important, doing. The aim of higher education goes beyond helping graduates like yourselves to succeed professionally, as important as that is for both you as individuals and for our society as a whole. Instead, as true now as it was then, we know that higher education remains the best way for people to improve the quality of their own lives, to raise the standard of living for their families, and to contribute their talents to our communities, no matter what their ori origin, race, social status, or economic background, the contribution of your thinking, your planning, your talents will be the legacy that you leave. Kansas was admitted as the 34th state to the Union on January 29, 1861. By 1863, the legislature had created the first public university. The legacy of public higher education system here in Kansas stretches back to our state's founding. The nation was on the brink of war, and Kansas was on the front lines. In the ensuing years, our nation and our state struggled with its very existence. These were tough times, and I would tell you, much tougher than what we face today. But strong leadership kept us focused on creating the world we knew we would need for the future that was being formed. In spite of the struggles they faced, and as the war raged on, President Abraham Lincoln continued to look towards our nation's future. Ground was broken in California on the construction of the first transcontinental railroad, and in Kansas, the first land-grant college was created. Those leaders knew that public higher education was as important a priority as any railroad or any highway. A robust society needs good ideas and sound thinking that results in strategic planning and understanding that the seeds you plant today might not bear fruit in your lifetime. Because what these individuals couldn't have known in 1863, any more than their counterparts in 1903, who laid down the foundation of this great university, is how the seeds each planted would bloom, how much public higher education and the opportunity to grow a life of the mind would be central to the health and well-being of our future society. The aim of public higher education system here in Kansas is to contribute to the prosperity of the state in much the same way you personally will benefit from your education, improve the quality of life for Kansans in a way that contributes to Kansas communities and ensures our economic success. Pittsburgh State University has been an important part of the Kansas higher education system and has contributed significantly to this community since its founding. Over the past year, PSU has also brought national attention to this region in meaningful ways, hosting the NCAA Division II Men's and Women's National Track and Field Championship and welcoming nationally recognized speakers, such as former First Lady Laura Bush and former President Bill Clinton, and much more. In my mind, PSU is the jewel of the region, but the true measure of this university's success well into the future will be the women and men who cross this stage today. You are the ones that will move our communities forward. Today you graduate and become alumni of the Kansas Regent System, joining over 350,000 other alumni residing here in Kansas, either because they graduated and stayed or returned to make Kansas their home. And I hope you will consider staying here in Kansas, create the industries of our future, discover the next great medical breakthrough, write the next great American novel, or perhaps lead our universities. I wish each of you joy, happiness, and fulfillment wherever your chosen path takes you. I remind you to create your future. You have the skills, talents, and opportunities to do just that. We are here today to honor your achievements 
and we look forward to your future. Class of 2016, the Kansas Board of Regents offer our collective congratulations.